that was minutes away from being an environmental disaster. They called the non-emergency 101 number. There were swans and ducks everywhere. Now, over the last couple of years, uh, we've uh, heard of a few unusual finds uh, from the craze of magnet fishing. Explosives or firearms tend to make the headlines. Uh, but our next guest this morning may just have made the biggest magnet fishing find in the county yet. We often talk to the dippy detectorists, Sir Leggett and Miller, on the programme. And uh, one member of them, uh, Miller, is uh, with us on the line this morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, Chris. How are you doing? All right? I'm good. Always good to talk to you. Now, um, I suppose you ought to tell us the story here as to what you managed to pull out of, of the river in Galston and, and how it all unfolded. Well, that's the last thing we needed on a Sunday morning. That was the first time I'd seen Leg in about six months because of this COVID malarkey. Anyway, we turned up at Alton Broad in Lowestoft, down by the, where the water sports are happening. That was 5.30 in the morning. We did our intro to camera and uh, Leggett was setting his magnet up and he looked down into the river he said, Miller, there's something big in there. And I said, what on earth is it? I walked over and I could, I could immediately see what that was, but that was my worst fear. That was a moped in the bottom of the river. And the worst part about it was we felt more of a cause to action for getting this moped out of the river uh, because there was petrol dripping out of the bike into the water and there was swans and ducks everywhere. Um, that was minutes away from being an environmental disaster. You know, I reckon if we left it another 10 minutes, Greta Thunberg would have parachuted in and give us a lecture. And we aren't <laughs> up for that because we get enough lectures from our girlfriends. <laughs> and I suppose, yeah, whatever reason you're there for, once you've noticed there's a moped at the, at the bottom of the, of the water, really you can't leave it, can you? You've got to try and do something about it. No, and the thing is, we couldn't really call anyone to give us a hand either because that was half five in the morning. We literally had to just grab our magnets. We also had a hook as well um, because the trouble is with a moped, there's a lot of plastic fascia on it, so you couldn't really get them, you know, to the metal with the magnets. But luckily I had a hook with me um, that we hooked around the spokes and then pulled it up um, to the ramp where they drop in all the canoes and the um, yachts and so on. And um, we pulled it out before all the petrol came out, luckily. Excellent. So that was great work. So once you'd hauled it out, what then? You're left with a, a, a moped on the side that's not yours. What, what do you do then? Well, Leggett didn't really want to get it out to start with because he was like, what on earth are we going to do with that, Miller? Have you ever got a motorbike on the back of the van? I said, yeah, we've had, I've had my father-in-law's on the back and that was bigger than this moped. Anyway, but I said, that's not our problem really because I've stolen, isn't it? So we called the non-emergency 101 number um, and, you know, got through to the police after half an hour, by the way. I don't know what was going on at 6am Sunday morning, um, but we were in a queue for half an hour on the 101 non-emergency number. Anyway, we got through and we said, we've got a stolen moped. Um, do you want it? And um, I gave them the registration and um, they've said, yep, that's reported stolen. We'll send a unit down. About half, half an hour later, um, two policemen come down and they said, well, we've never seen anything like this before. And um, they carted it off, and um, we had a good rest of our day because we weren't <laughs> going to take it home, you see. <laughs> no, well, exactly. That, that is the thing, isn't it? You, you couldn't have just left it. So, I mean, you mentioned it had sort of fuel leaking out of it, which is which suggested it hadn't been there for that long. Um, did it? Do you think it would still work? Has it gone back to the person that, that, that owned it? Um, I don't actually know, to be honest, Chris. I've not give the I dare and give the non-emergency police a number, um, um, a ring, just because I ain't got half an hour again to check what's happened to it. Um, but I reckon if you give me and Leggett and a good hour on it, we could get it running again. But you did, then again, that one ours to fix and sell on for a grand that was stolen, weren't it? So we'd probably be, you know, that would be classed as stealing it for ourselves. And you, you know, me and Leggett, we're good Samaritans. We have to give it back, then we? You did the right thing. You did. I mean, after you've done that, when you've made a discovery like that and you, you've pulled the, 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 the moped out of the water. What, what do you do then? Do you, I mean, that's enough excitement for the day, isn't it? Or did you go back and say, well, let's see what else we can find? Well, I said to Leggett, I said, at six o'clock now, we've got a video, we can have a day off, can't we? And he was like, no, no, let's go and find some more stuff. And we ended up finding loads of other stuff. We found... Um one of Ed Edward Scissorhands fingers um, we found a tr um, trampoline springs from a trampoline which was used in uh, 
Takeshi's Castle, which was the, the special <laughs> lower stock edition, um, and various other finds, which you'll see in the video, which is being released on our YouTube channel and Facebook, the Dibby Detectorists, on Saturday. We hadn't told anyone about this yet, so it's quite an exclusive, Chris, for your Radio Norfolk um, listeners. I um, feel a bit naughty, really. No, well, we, we'll take it. Fantastic. Well, always good to speak to you, and it's good to know that the, the gang's back together, because every time we speak to you, you've been saying, oh, we haven't seen each other for a long time, but the fact you're out there doing your stuff again, and there's never been a surer sign that we're going back to normal. That oh, was fantastic, Chris. Having a marble by the river, me and Leggett, we love having a good laugh. And, um, yeah, like I said, we ain't seen each other in six months, so it's good to get back together. Um, yeah, that's just fantastic. Well, Saturday, uh, keep an eye on the Dippy Detectorists, and you can see that video for yourself, uh, how they managed to get the, the, the moped out of the water, and all being well, back to its rightful owner, uh, Leggett and Miller, uh, making up for uh, the, the, the last few months where they haven't been able to have their, their, their adventures together, uh, magnet fishing, by having a spectacular one there, uh, not far away from Lowestoft at Alton Broad, finding a moped in the water, and uh, the police coming and taking it away, and hopefully... It's gone back to the person who owned it. Excellent stuff. The Dippy Detectorists, have a look for them online. And on Saturday, you'll get a chance to see that video for yourself. Uh, a, a brilliant story there. Uh, thanks to, um, that was Miller, for, out of Leggett and Miller from the Dippy Detectorists, joining us live on the radio this morning.